So I've tried to film this video about five times, but I keep coughing. So I'm hoping this video, it will be really nice and clear and we'll be able to fly through this video. So today we're gonna to be diving into the first steps to live an extraordinary lifestyle. Now, I had someone recently ask me about this, so I thought I'd make a video so that you too could benefit. So let me explain. When we think about living an extraordinary lifestyle, there are a few steps that you have to go through. The first one is the most important. 99% of people are not successful because they don't do this. Are you ready? Decide what you want. It's so important, yet there are so many people I speak to that say, I don't know. Really, you don't know. So I ran a seminar the other day. They said, I don't know. I said, oh, go and tell me. And then they tell me. So why say, I don't know? I don't know really is I haven't thought about it yet. So I challenge you to really think about what you want, but with detail. I want to set up a lifestyle business where I work four hours a week. So yeah, four hours a week, four hours a day, whatever it is. And you, and you aim to set up that business. I can work wherever I like. I spend time with my family. I keep healthy. I go to the gym in the morning. I feel great. If you create something like that, it's going to help you move forward so much more than if you were to just say, oh, what I want is a business. Because then you can have a business, but it takes up all your time. So it's really important to decide on what you want. Now, the second thing is why most people don't follow through. And that is you need to decide what you have to sacrifice in order to create that lifestyle. The time, the resources, the energy, the, like, the, I mean, there's so many different factors. There are so many people that I say, I want to start my own business so I can have more time. Okay, that's great. But to begin with, that ain't going to happen. You've got to spend a lot of time to begin with to lay a foundation for the business to grow. So you've got to decide right, what needs to be sacrificed and you have to be willing to sacrifice in order to move it forward. Now, the next thing is you've got to take the first step. There are so many people that I hear and speak to that will come up with an idea. They know what they want. And I say, have you taken action yet? No, not yet. No, why not? I'm not sure. I'm not ready yet. You'll never be ready. You've just got to take action. You have to do something to move you forward. Otherwise, you'll just be in the exact same position. You have to take action. And then you've got to start making key decisions and then follow through with something else. So, so let me ask you this. If there are five frogs on a log and three decide to jump off, okay, they decide to jump off, how many are left? Five. Why? Because decisions don't do anything unless they're followed through with action. So what I mean in step four is you take your first step and you've taken a little bit of action, then you need to make some decisions. And leaders make decisions fast and they change them slow. And to become an amazing leader of your life, you must choose to make more decisions and act on them. Because if you can make decisions, you say, right, this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna do that, then you move forward. You can start to really shift yourself. And it's very, very important as you start to create this lifestyle for yourself that you actually make these key decisions. So many people get stuck on the same issues for months. Instead, make a decision and then follow through. I remember hearing about a, a Russian, like prime minister or president, whatever they are. And, and he, uh, in fact, well, no, I think it was in the army. And what happened was he had this big decision to make. They've been working on this for two years. So three teams, A, B, and C. So they come towards them and they say, you know, this is all the things. We've been doing all this research. We need to know what to do. So, okay, A, so I'll spend five minutes with you, five minutes with B, five minutes with C. So he does it and he says, okay, leave me for 15. So he has to think. They all come back and he says, we're doing B, done. They say, go off, you're doing B, A and C, scratch it, we're doing B. And his advisor was like, are you serious? You've just came in. You can't do that. And he says, yes, I can. Because if they do B and it doesn't work, they can then do C. But at the moment, we're spreading ourselves too thin doing so many different things. Maybe it's the same for you. Maybe you're spreading yourself too thin and you need to decide to make a decision on certain aspects of your life to really move you forward. Maybe think about these uh, safe and quality problems. Safe problems are things that keep us where we are. It's, oh, you know, I need to work out my shopping. I need to buy a new bed. I need to do all these things. They're, they're things that are sort of comfortable to deal with. A quality problem is I need to move house. I need to change my career. I need to break up with that person. Whatever it is, there's, I imagine if you're watching this, there's maybe some quality problems that you need to overcome to give you the space to really move your life forward. Okay, next, number five. 
you need to measure your progress. It's all going to well setting that and you start to make some progress. And you're like, oh, a bit demotivated. I'm not really getting there as fast as I thought. Now, if you're in that camp, you've got to measure your progress. Measure the steps you're making along the way. And don't compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to yourself. You're making progress, you're moving things forward. That's fantastic. Because you're starting to move yourself in a direction which is exciting for you, as opposed to a direction which isn't. So it's really, really key that you measure. So think about what could you measure to move you towards the lifestyle that you want. Maybe it's measuring the impact you're having. Maybe it's measuring the fact that you're making a little bit of income on the side. Whatever it is, but start to have a little bit of measurements to really give you that inspiration to follow through. Because often we can feel motivated, we do something, then we feel demotivated. If you can see your progress along the way, you can start to see what you're doing, it, it's really, really cool. The next is you've got to celebrate your journey. It's a journey. Like creating that ideal lifestyle is great, but it's the journey which is the fun part. People honestly don't care about the big business. They care about the issues along the way. We like that journey. And it's that journey that builds you up to the person that you've become. It's really not even about the goal. It's the person that you need to become along the way in order to achieve that lifestyle or achieve that target. So we've got to celebrate. We've got to celebrate and enjoy the process. Because the truth is we only live life once. So why get so obsessed with one thing when you've got to enjoy the journey along the way? All the ups, all the downs, all the challenges, all the worthy opponents that come into your life. We've got to enjoy the journey. Now the last thing is we have to maintain a balance and an, an equilibrium. Like you have to be able to maintain other areas of your life whilst this happening. So if you want to live that lifestyle, that's great. Have patience. Don't sacrifice the things that are most important to you along the way. Your health, your family, your partner, your children. I remember speaking to a business owner in uh, England, this is many years ago, we've worked together for a while now, but when we first started, he was saying, Ben, I need to make some more money. And I was like, okay, talk to me more about it. And he didn't need to make more money because this is what he wanted to do. He wanted to make more money in order to spend more time with his family. And he has spent the last, like, God, like seven, eight years making money and sacrificing time with his family. And I said to him, I was like, look, what do you really care about? He says, my family. I'm all right. Well, why are you doing this in order to spend time with your family? And you could spend time with your family now. And he was like, well, I never thought about it like that. Maybe you should think the same. Maybe you could achieve a balance along that journey, have them support you along the way. Often this is the when I have this, then addiction. When I have this, then I'll focus on what matters. You've got to focus on it along the way because then you've got the balance, you've got the resource, the emotional juice to follow through because you have in your life what really, really matters to you. So with that said, I really hope you can start to make steps towards your extraordinary lifestyle. Decide what you want, know what you need to sacrifice, make it happen. Also, think about the skills you need to develop in order to really shift you to where you need to be. I often describe this as identity capital when I teach it in my intensive seminar. And that is the skills that you need in order to live the life you want. So start to make it happen. I really hope you can start to live that lifestyle that you desire. Enjoy the journey and I look forward to joining you and hopefully supporting you as you make that lifestyle happen. I'll speak to you soon.